Hello class and welcome back to Blackout Academy. Uh, today we actually have a recommendation for, like, some of the students have been asking me to talk about this one. I get it, it's cute, everyone wants to talk about it. Fine, I'll do a class on it. Alright, welcome to SCP-999. Object class, safe. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-999 is allowed to freely roam the facility should it desire to, but other otherwise must stay in its pen, either between 8 p.m. and 9 p.m. for sleeping, or during emergency lockdowns for its own safety. Sub subject is not allowed out of its pen at night or off facility grounds at any time. Pen is to be kept clean and food replaced twice daily. All personnel are allowed inside SCP-999's holding area, but only if they are not assigned to other tasks at the time, or if they are on break. Uh, subject is to be played with when bored and spoken to in a calm, non-threatening tone. I have personally spoken to this thing on multiple occasions, and it is squishy, and I love to hug this thing. Description. SCP-999 appears to be a large, amorphous, gelatinous mass of translucent orange slime, weighing about 54 kilograms or 120 pounds, with a consistency similar to that of peanut butter. Subject's size and shape are easily malleable and can change shape at will, though when at rest, SCP-999 becomes a rounded, oblate dome roughly 2 meters wide and 1 meter in height. The surface of SCP-999 consists of a thin, transparent membrane similar to that of an animal cell, roughly 0.5 centimeters thick, and is el highly elastic, allowing SCP-999 to flatten portions of its body up to 2 centimeters thin. This, this surface is also hydrophobic, although SCP-999 can willfully absorb liquids, see addendum Addendum SCP-999-A. The rest of SCP-999's body is filled with a viscous orange substance of unknown chemical makeup, though it is capable of digesting organic materials with ease. Yeah, I gave this thing a granola bar once, and it just, it was gone in like five seconds. That little bugger was hungry. Subject's temperament is best described as playful and dog-like. When approached, SCP-999 will often react with overwhelming elation, slithering over to the nearest person and leaping upon them, hugging them with a pair of pseudopods while nuzzling the person's face with a third pseudopod, all the while emitting high-pitched gurgling and cooing noises. The surface of SCP-999 emits a pleasing odor that differs with whoever it is interacting with. Recorded scents include chocolate, fresh laundry, bacon, roses, and play-doh. Trademark. Simply touching SCP-999 surface causes an immediate mild euphoria, while in which intensifies the longer one is exposed to 999, and lasts long after the separation with the creature. Subject's favorite activity is tickle wrestling, often by completely enveloping a person from the neck down and tickling them until asked to stop, though it does not always immediately comply with the request. I learned that the hard way. I walked into this thing's cell, wrapped itself around me, and it tickled me for like an hour. It was kind of fun, not gonna lie. Though injuries may occur, SCP-99 has never been found to purposely attempt to harm others, and will immediately back away uh, and contract its body into a quivering mound while gurgling in a manner similar to a whimpering dog, seemingly apologizing for hurting someone on accident. While this creature will interact with anyone, it seems to have a special interest in those who are unhappy or hurt in any way. Persons suffering from crippling depression or PTSD, for example, have reported having a far more positive outlook on life after multiple interactions with SCP-999. The possibility of manufacturing antidepressants from 999 slime is currently being discussed. In addition to its playful nature, 999 seems to love all animals, especially humans refusing to eat any meat, and even risking its own life to save others, on one occasion leaping in front of a person to take a bullet fired at them. Subject's intellect is still up for debate, though its behavior is infantile. 
it seems to understand human speech and most modern technology, including guns. SCP-999's diet consists entirely of candy and sweets, with M&Ms and NECA wafers being a one of some of its favorites. <laughs> its its eating methods are similar to those of an amoeba. Addendum: SCP-999-A. Reminder to all staff, SCP-999 is not to consume caffeinated soft drinks of any kind. Last week, someone gave SCP-999 a can of cola along with its usual breakfast. Not only was it literally bouncing off the walls for half an hour, the carbonation made SCP-999 visibly queasy afterwards and it refused to move or eat for the rest of the day. 999 has thankfully recovered since, but the staff member in question has been reprimanded. Addendum SCP-999-B The following is a report from an experiment in which SCP-682 is exposed to SCP-999 in the hopes that it will curb the creature's omnicidal rage. SCP-999 was released inside 682's containment area, and 999 immediately slithered toward 682. What is that? Disgusting. Huh? What is this? I feel good. Feel so happy. Happy. <laughs> <laughs> SCP-682 and SCP-999 continue the tickle fight until SCP-682 finally wears down and appears to fall asleep, with what appear to be a smile on its face. After 15 minutes with no activity, two D-Class personnel entered the room to retrieve SCP-999. When SCP-999 is removed, 6A2 immediately wakes up and unleashes an unidentifiable wave of energy from its body, all while laughing manically. All persons within the wave's range collapse into crippling fits of laughter, allowing 6A2 to escape and slaughter all on its path. Meanwhile, 999 quickly rescues as many persons as it can, taking them to a safe place to recover from 6A2's laughter wave, while agents suppress and recontain 6A2. Despite the tragedy that 6A2 had brought upon the facility, 999 has not shown any fear towards the creature, and in fact has made gestures suggesting that it wants to play with 6A2 again. 6A2, however, has stated, The succulent little can and die. Memo from Dr. While the test was unsuccessful and ended in tragedy, that had to be the funniest thing I have ever seen. I never thought I'd see the day when I would regard SCP-682 as cute. Please send me a copy of the security tapes ASAP. Well, class, hope you enjoyed that little fun uh, uh, addition of our class. Uh, yeah, I, I know a lot of you guys are going to want to go see 999 after this. It's it's open. I talked to the guys. It, you can go see it after class. I have a little thing scheduled for you. I'll go see it too. Alright, everyone is dismissed. Let's go see this thing. <laughs>